Dude, every time I do a Chester P, I get a headache, man. I've got, dude, I shit you not. Look at this. I've got a long list of things. And, and of course, paid reactions at the top, man. Always. And then I do the other more popular stuff, man. Sometimes, you know, I get a popular paid. Point being, every time I do a Chester P, man, shout out to Chris. Every time I do a motherfucking Chester P, man, I get a headache. I start questioning life. Dude, initiation process, man. This was posted five years ago. I don't know if it's older than that or what the deal is, man. Let's just get right into it, bro. If you, if you know, you know. Reflections in kaleidoscopic shadow I was crawling through the tropics Trying to blossom on a drop of rain How many thunder clapping moments Till I found myself enlightened on the corner God, dude, you fucking Dude, Chris <laughs> Bro What the fuck, man Dude, it's I already know I'm fucked, I'm fucked, bro I already know my mind's reflections in kaleidoscopic shadow I was crawling through the tropics trying to blossom on a drop of rain How many thunder clapping moments till I found myself enlightened On the cornerstone of shadow with a block of pain How, how many thunder clapping moments until I found myself enlightened by something pain? See, like, you could break down one line as a philosophy lesson I mean, the phil you know Pain, uh, uh, pain is a transformative thing, and through pain, you can find yourself. You can find, dude. You want to find out who somebody is? Throw shitty circumstances into their life. Just see what, like, like if, if, uh, you know, God forbid. But I'm just saying, if, if a family member died and they lost their job and this and that, and if they're still going after it, man, they really made a change in their life. They, they really have that character in them. It's easy to be somebody when when everything is nice and the sun's out and all that shit, man. Throw throw them a, a few curveballs and then you see how they handle it and then that's you know that true character comes out. Period. Bro, we're, he just started rapping. L let's go, man. Clapping moments till I found myself enlightened on the cornerstone of shadow with a block of pain. Is this something to remember like the aching sound the mother earth erupting? Volcanic isolation, my vocation is the reason for these tremors and the quaking ground. How many bars are you gonna write about this journey to- Fuck, man. Goosebumps. Dude, the, just the instrumental in the things he's talking about. I mean, the the- Dude, he responded to one of, Chester P responded to one of my comments one time, man. I geeked the fuck out for the whole day. I went to my girl, was like, yo, Chester P respond. He was like, hey, I, we, I noticed the reactions going back years. Like, it hasn't gone unnoticed. I was like, what? What? I freaked out, showed my girl. She was like, oh, damn. Because, you know, I talk about, I talk about Chester P to her sometimes. I piss her off sometimes. No joke. I'm... I don't talk her ear off, but she knows who Chester P is because I heard him. I was like, the best poetry I've ever spoken by a human being. To the shadows of your soul before the burden starts to weigh you down. Walking knee deep in the swamp weed of a bad morning. The platforms in my mind are a vacant land and information is a gathering cloud of a sandstorm. Truth is nothing more than a glistening grain of sand in a desert of no returning. Address the population with death as the post. Truth is not nothing than a grain of sand in a in a what in like a vast like a beach almost. I I I know he didn't even say that, but I'm trying to visualize the words he's saying. So uh, okay, you listen to a Chester P. The for, for those of you who are like, oh, he didn't even say in a beach. You listen to a Chester P. song for the first time. Try to visualize it and then just see how much shit you miss. All right, and film it. And film it, motherfucker. Come on. It's cold, cogs of a wheel turn in the grip of a chokehold. Searching for delirium. The journey of a fool is unfolding the path before me. I found myself lost in the form where you last saw me. The chariot of self is the ship that I've set sailing on these meditative waves to the shores with the next shaman. My life's a thread in this universal tapestry, the Bacchus of a modern time. Glory Dionysus, I was searching for my Isis, the queen of the last discordian. Oh, a Bacchus of... So the the Bacchus was the original calculator, and then he mentions Isis. The the uh, 
not not the fucking terrorism organization modern day uh isis i believe is a um egyptian is it an egyptian uh, maybe i'm thinking of something else osiris maybe anyway hang on man let me go back try to catch this bro but the Bacchus, I believe, was the original calculator where they would move these things over and and look it up. Look it up, man. This ain't a fucking history lesson. All right. Go look it up, man. Of a modern time. Glory Dionysus. I was searching for my Isis, the queen of the last Discordians. And total yeah, yeah. chaos was part of a final strategy. And when it's time to disappear into the cavities, Prometheus was rising, defying the laws of gravity. The twins are intertwined, serpents of Caduceus. Awaken Kundalini, the card of the ancient magus. Cadu the twins, the serpents of Caduceus. I don't know what he's talking about there, but then he talks about the, the Kundalini, which I believe is a form of... Like the original form of uh, yoga, or one of the original forms of yoga, or a, uh, bro. I w whenever I try to break down Chester P, and I don't edit the, I don't edit my reactions at all, okay? Because I'm about that raw, just like soak it in and and try to decipher it. I'm about that, man. Some people they edit or they listen to it 700 times before they do it, and then they just they happen to get everything. Like, come on, bro, really? You knew all these words. You knew all these references. You should be building a rocket, not doing reactions. Come on, bro. Really? This arcanum of self is an R changer in a tarot card reflection formulating in the vapors of life. The final gamble got me shaking the dice, taking step towards the edge to start creating the light. The journey of a fool is a journey indeed. The hangman's waiting by the tree for me. The initiation process. Slow steps to a slow death and I'm back again The journey of a fool is a journey indeed The hangman's waiting by the tree for me It's the initiation process Slow steps to a slow death and I'm back This song was brought to you by the Discordian Movements Hail Is that an Egyptian god? He's got so many mythological references, man, um, to Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology. Now, the interesting thing I've thought about, and I, I know some people are going to exit it, whatever, man. The interesting thing I've thought about is a lot of ancient cultures talked about gods, but they, they said they had supernatural powers, but they were they were talked about and written about as real beings. My question is this. We're attempting to get somebody to Mars. I don't know when that's going to happen. My question to you guys is this, food for thought. In 200 years, where do you think we'll be able to get a human? In 200 years, we'll be able to get to Mars. Where else do you think we, we'd be able to be? I, I don't know. And maybe it's 500 years and we'd be able to travel you know, outside of the solar system. Point being... These people were mystical. They were in touch with, with nature and the elements, and they were able to manipulate them. They were referred to as deities, but they were written about as real human beings. So my question is like, well, if the, if the universe is infinite and, and we don't know how old it is, but we know it's old as fuck, um, to put it eloquently, um, who's to say that there weren't beings that came from another planet at one point, and then these were the deities and gods who taught... Uh, you know, a primal homo sapien uh, or, or, you know, the, the caveman taught the caveman fire and helped them evolve into what, like, I don't know, man. There's no way to know for sure, but entertain it. But I'm going to wrap this one up, man. Shout out to Chris. Big love, man. As always.